Jojo Story Time. Today's story is The Sniffles for Bear by Bonnie Becker and illustrated by Katie MacDonald Denton. Bear was ill, very, very ill. His eyes were red, his snout was red, his throat was sore and gruffly. In fact, Bear was quite sure no one had ever been as ill as he was. One morning, Bear heard a tap, tap, tapping on his front door. Cupboard, he rasped. Mouse, small and grey and bright-eyed, bustled into Bear's living room. Bear huddled in his chair, big and brown and sniffly snouted. He had a terrible cold. I am come, declared Mouse. Soon you'll be as good as new. Bear frowned. Mouse was much too cheerful. I am quite ill, Bear reminded him. Indeed, said Mouse. I have just the thing. Mouse rifled through his bag, then settled next to Bear with a yellow book in his paw. It was spring, Mouse read. The sky was blue. The sun was happy. All the birds were singing. Stop, grumbled Bear. I fear you do not appreciate the gravity of my situation. Mouse looked sad, but his tail didn't. In fact, I may not be long for this world, Bear huffed. Oh, my. Yes, <coughs> Bear murmured, coughing pitifully. I grow weaker by the moment. Ah, uh, I have just the thing, Mouse announced. I shall soothe you with a song. Oh, she'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming... Disgraceful, barked Bear. Don't you like singing? asked Mouse. When someone is dreadfully ill, you sing mournful songs. Everyone knows that, growled Bear. He blew his nose with a honk. <laughs> I have just the thing, Mouse said. He rifled through his bag. Mouse strummed heartily on a tiny banjo. That isn't mournful at all, cried Bear. It gets sad later, Mouse promised. This is impossible, intolerable, Bear started to roar. But he was too weak. Look, Bear wheezed, look at how my paw is trembling. You must help me to my bed. And indeed, Mouse was most helpful. He tucked Bear in, then whisked out of the bedroom door. He returned, balancing a big bowl of soup on his head. Nettle soup, Mouse said. I made it myself. Bear sipped cautiously. It was hot and tasted a bit like spinach and straw. Bear rather liked it. His eyes began to close. Better? inquired Mouse. Bear's eyes snapped open. Certainly not. I think I should make a will. Ah, I have just the thing, said Mouse, fetching a pencil and little notebook from his bag. He perched next to Bear his pencil poised to write. Bear gazed thoughtfully at the ceiling. I, Bear, he said, leave my red roller skates to... Bear paused. Mouse leaned forward eagerly. To Mouse, announced Bear. Hooray, said Mouse. Bear frowned. You needn't be so happy about it. I also leave my mop to Mouse, he added quickly. Mouse didn't look so interested in that. And my wash bucket, added Bear. At last, Mouse seemed to understand the gravity of the situation. Anything else? asked Mouse. I'm too weak to go on, said Bear. Perhaps I could just add your kettle, said Mouse helpfully. bellowed Bear, sitting bolt upright in bed. Your strength has returned, Mouse exclaimed. 
No, it hasn't, said Bear, falling back. That was just the last flicker before the dark. I see. Mouse folded his paws and looked very sad. Even his tail. Bear's voice dropped to a whisper. Farewell, Mouse. Goodbye, Bear, murmured Mouse. Bear closed his eyes. He lay very still. He began to snore. <coughs> After a while, Bear opened his eyes. He saw Mouse. I feel better, Bear said. Mouse nodded, but he didn't look so good himself. His eyes were watery, and he made sniffling sounds. <coughs> Perhaps you'd better lie down said Bear, getting out of bed. Mouse didn't argue. Do you want me to make you a will? Bear asked. Mouse shook his head. Bear carefully tucked him in. I'm sorry you're ill, he said. Thank you, Bear, Mouse sniffled. And after a moment he added, That was just the thing. Bear smiled, and Mouse closed his eyes and was soon fast asleep. I hope you enjoyed today's story. I look forward to seeing you again at another Jojo story time. Goodbye.